Okay, folks, what's going on? Sunday, April 3rd, 2016. Flash alert for you. The Denver Broncos have traded for Colin Kaepernick. Now, the trade I do not believe is official yet because it's contingent on uh, working something out with Kaepernick's contract. But for the sake of discussion, we're just going to assume that that is going to happen. I'd expect that it's going to get worked out. I'm a little surprised by this one. Um, mainly on the 49ers perspective, they hired Chip Kelly as head coach. I would think that Colin Kaepernick is the type of quarterback Chip Kelly would want to have, a mobile quarterback for the read option style that Chip Kelly runs. But we've seen this with Chip Kelly his entire time. He seems to do things his own way. Uh, well, he doesn't seem to. He does things his own way. And I guess this is the situation where he's doing that again now. Does this mean San Francisco will try to draft a quarterback in the... Uh, draft. Um, I would certainly assume that would be part of it. Uh, will it be in the first round? I don't know. I don't know if there will be a quarterback that Chip Kelly likes to fit his offense in the first round or if he'll just take, you know, Carson Wentz or uh, Goff if they fall down to him. Maybe, you know, in a later round, a Paxton Lynch or someone like that. Uh, again, you know, those are quality quarterbacks that we're talking about, so it's not like San Francisco will be in a bad way to have any of those guys, but um, do they really fit Chip Kelly's offense, or is he just going to run with Blaine Gabbert? There's some talks that he likes Blaine Gabbert. So I'm not really sure what Chip Kelly is doing. San Francisco's really got to be wondering why they ever let Jim Harbaugh go in the first place. And, you know, they're starting to show the signs of what they were before they got Jim Harbaugh, which was an organization in disarray, and they're starting to pick that right up again. And um, I don't I don't know where San Francisco is going to go from here. Obviously, I would expect if they don't figure things out, maybe they know something we don't, and uh, everything's going to work out for the better, but I would be surprised if the 49ers don't struggle for these next couple of years uh they already had a bad year last year and we'll see what happens from this point forward now as for the denver broncos they have mark sanchez uh as far as mark sanchez i had always been uh in the camp that sanchez never really got a fair break in new york uh sort of a victim of his own success that team played very well in the beginning they didn't ask him to do too much and when it got to the point where they thought he could do too much he they really abandoned other things like the defense, they let uh, you know guys like Thomas Jones go. Uh, the offensive line, where they had guys like Alan Fanica, they you know let him go, and then they put too much on Mark Sanchez when he wasn't really ready for it. Um, you know he's had his turnover issues that um, could come from, and at least my opinion, it does come from when you uh, put a lot on a guy when he's not really ready for it. He tries to force and do too much. Certainly, his time at Philadelphia has not been great either, but. You know, that's, you know, neither here nor there. They have Mark Sanchez now. They're going to try to trade for Colin Kaepernick. Um, does Colin Kaepernick fit that offensive system? Colin Kaepernick really is a guy who's going to make his own system. That's the type of quarterback he is. That's the type of skill set he has. So certainly a downgrade for a team that was winning the Super Bowl, even with Peyton Manning um, struggling last year, which he did. Now they got a guy with Colin Kaepernick, and we'll see if he can revitalize his career. But again, this is more surprising on the end of the San Francisco 49ers than it is for the Denver Broncos because they need a quarterback, and you know they're going to take a chance with this guy. And with that defense, they can seem to do all right. All right, so there's your Flash News Alert. Remember, Tuesday we will have the weekly NBA report and any other Flash or quick takes um, between now and then, and we appreciate all subscriptions if you would like to do so. Thank you all. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.